have to mow this lawn. I look like a mess. So I've repotted my leg. The chaos has started. I got the key. Hi guys, hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Adi and in today's vlog, I'm going to be sharing my experience shifting homes here in New Zealand. So if you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Aditya. I live in Christchurch, New Zealand with my husband and my sister. While I'm recording this video, we've already all moved. This is my new house in the background and I just thought I've never seen any videos of people actually sharing what it's like to be moving houses in New Zealand. And as someone who lived outside of New Zealand for all her life, this was quite a different experience. I have not been so hands-on with the moving before. So we moved houses in November of 2023 and the actual moving process, I had to start a few weeks before the actual date of moving. A little bit of context, we had only been in the previous house for six months. We had taken over the lease of a couple of our friends who had bought their own house and it was a beautiful space. We were really happy to just take it over and we really hoped that the landlord would just let us have another year at least. But unfortunately or fortunately for him, he wanted to sell it. So yeah, we were not really prepared to move houses again in six months, but it was what happened. So. That's the little bit of context. So I'll take you through my steps. One of the things I was adamant about is that I was going to bring all my plants with me. So before we, I even started packing my clothes, that's what I started doing. Flashback. Everything you see now in pots, but in the ground, I've repotted my lettuce into these bins. My tomato plants, my chilies, that one died. So I'll probably reuse this pot today. Look at that mint guys, this is my pride and joy. So I managed to take half of them and plant them into like two different bins. My coriander is here and bolting looks like. That's my rosemary. So I've taken a sample of some of the succulents that I managed to grow over the last um, few months in this place. And this is our lemon tree uh, that we got from Bunnings. It's, I think, about to flower, which is interesting because it didn't grow at all in height. This is my little succulent island that I was trying to make. So this triangular structure was already here, so and that big cactus thing was already there. For the rest of them, essentially, I've hand planted most of them. Some of my other plants that barely made it. This is an indoor plant, actually, so that makes sense why it's not doing very well outside. I don't have any more space in my house. I know right now it doesn't look like it, but a lot of effort went into this space. All of this grass is dead a few months ago. We did like, I think two to three rounds of seeds and just watering and like things. We did a lot of work to bring this lawn to have, you see that patch? That's how it was for the longest time. Somehow we can't get that patch to grow. Excuse the mess, but uh, it's a Sunday. I usually wouldn't be doing this, but we are moving next week on a Thursday. I'll be going and getting the keys Thursday morning. So I moved the other plants into the pots a few weeks ago because I knew that if I, if I left to the last moment, those were the things I'll not get done. Like I paid for those plants. And also we put, we put two or three sacks of soil on here, which is also heartbreaking because we've spent hundreds of dollars on this. And now we have to leave. Anyway, the chaos has started. So I've started moving some of my clothes. So everything that was here is now inside that and um, we've also moved some of our really heavy coats um, into a carting box and i'm labeling as i go because there's no way i can keep track of what it is so just labeling exactly what's in each carton that way i can decide if i need to open it or i can leave it in the garage because some of those winter coats i don't need anymore i'm putting my veggies and towels in one box um, i'm gonna put my clothes in one suitcase and all of his stuff in another Again, excuse me how I look. But the goal for today is to just pack everything from this bedroom that we don't need in the coming week, in the first three days. Oh my god, I look horrible. So I've just kept whatever I need to wear to work on there. Some clothes to wear at home, outside. Uh, some of the basics outside. And everything else is going away into the boxes. And while I'm here, I'm also just picking out things I know that I haven't worn in the last six months. That is how long we've been at this house. I'm not bringing it to the new house. Uh, we got potatoes. So while I was taking care of my front lawn, my husband had started taking care of the back lawn. He pulled out the tulips in the hopes that we could reuse those bulbs for next season. We also had some potatoes outside that he pulled out, hopefully that we can replant it. And we had to take some out for dinner as well. 
We got some potatoes for dinner. Hi guys, it's Thursday today, the 9th of November. I've taken a leave from work for today and tomorrow because we're officially starting our move. My husband's just finished work last night and so he's sleeping. So in the morning, we, as in me and my sister, we'll go collect the keys, we'll go check the new house, we'll take some pictures. So if you're in New Zealand and, you know, like us moving from place to place on like rental places, this is one thing you should do. Um, the agency that we're using now, they have a condition where you need to submit pictures. So the agent takes pictures and then we also need to submit pictures and this will be used um, during the end if we want to leave when we discuss about the booking and stuff like that. In case your agency doesn't already have this in place, it's always a good idea to check the house before you move your things in. Take pictures of especially things like doors, walls and the bottom, um, maybe it's somewhere at the top because things, there's always scuff marks or like some kind of chipping or something that's happened already but once you move your things in even you wouldn't know if it's something that happened while you moved your stuff in or if it was already there so having a folder with pictures of everything is a good idea so that because these are the things that they'll charge you for uh, eventually when you move out so i'm just gonna make some coffee and some upma for breakfast um, and then we're gonna go grab the keys i'll take you along Guys, we got the key. This is our new house. There is so much space all around the house, but also means so much work to do, so much to mow, and so much mess from the trees to clean. There's a literal tree falling into our space. So let's go in. About it's nearly 6 p.m. About to be 6 p.m. now. I'm, yes, in the new house. There is so much to clean. I didn't realize how much um, there is. It looked clean when we entered, but as you got closer to the windows, there was mold. There were a lot of things to just clean. So I did that. I've just done some surface cleaning. Um, clean the windows, window sills and stuff. That's, you can see my really poor wiping marks there. Clean the toilet and and the bathroom sink and the cubicle and the and I vacuumed the house. Just got done with that for now. Uh, my husband's brought all of like he's doing the moving actually. So whatever we've managed to pack so far, he's kind of brought it in. There's more suitcases, sorry, more boxes inside the room. The the space is smaller than our current house, so the room is now a bit more smaller. Uh, which we feel I don't know how I feel about this place but there's really a, we, we had to move um, and this was like the best option we were getting in the market rent and everything considered there's a bit of work to be done to make it feel homely right now like if the outside and things there's, there's a lot of trees around it's very messy outside uh, which I'm not used to there's a lot to be done I'm just taking a rest I've been just on my feet for so long I'll keep you guys posted. Day two, more shifting, more bags, more, more moving. I'm exhausted. I didn't really record much between all this chaos, but we had a couple of our friends come over to help us with the shift and so we got this pizza train to share. I was working on our bedroom and kitchen and we were actually on our way to getting settled in. Hello guys, so this is 5 p.m. on the Friday in the new house <laughs> we're still not done moving i can't remember how the moving was six months ago but this just feels so much longer we still have our uh, tv unit and a ladder shelf to bring and of course some of my plants are still there so but we just thought we'll go and get it over the weekend there is so much to do i I'm exhausted. I really just want to shove everything in the garage. But the garage here is horrible. We unfortunately couldn't check it before moving. So it looks like something in there. Uh, and we're going to check in with our agents that can you help like clean it or something. And they put a rack in there so like our car won't fit because it takes up half, like one third of the garage space. Like, can you remove it? I don't know if they're going to, but that's all like super major bummers. There's going to be a lot 
for us to clean out like the surrounding areas to make it you know so that we can plant things and make it livable it's not going to be done in this weekend while we didn't have the time to do a traditional housewarming, I still wanted to do this. In my culture, we believe that if you boil milk in a new house, it should tip over and that's seen as a good sign. Hi guys, so it's Saturday morning. I think it's close to 9.30 then. I've lost track of time. I lost track of which day it was. So I just saw that it's Saturday morning. I'm like, yes, the weekend's just started. Anyway, so we're uh, not yet all moved in, believe it or not. We've got all our stuff in. But there's still things in our previous house, so we need to go get our plants and the bidet and so have like a final check around the house. I've still not unpacked my suitcase, but we've kind of put together our living room and the dining room and stuff like that. The storage space is considerably low, so we have moved a lot of the things into a little cabin that we have here outside because the garage is unusable until the agents do something about it. Um, I mean, I'm slowly getting acclimated to the idea of it. It looks really nice in the morning. The living room and the dining table, dining area is the most sunniest spot in the house. Everywhere else, it's a bit dark and shady uh, because there's a lot of trees around. So I, uh, apart from that, it's all right. I think we'll get used to it. There are a few things uh, we need to do around the house to kind of bring it up to how we are used to. Uh, I think it'll take a couple of weeks to at least feel settled in a little bit. Oh, you've managed to rake actually. You got there much faster than I expected you to. Wow, okay, impressive. So update Amit's uh, chaotic move happening and we are almost completely moved out of old house into the new one and now we're going back to do cleaning and all of that we can leave it and we're done and then we can get the keys tomorrow i just can't wait to be done with all of this uh, majorly regretting the mid move i mean the, the house was absolutely beautiful uh, i think it wasn't very smart of us to have moved into a half lease situation um, but yeah it was one of those worst case scenarios like you know they just didn't allow to extend the lease so Anyway, uh, it's all okay. It's in the past now. Uh, we are moving into a new house. We have a habit for one year, which is great. Uh, stability is important. So that's great. Um, and yeah, now lots of cleaning to do. It's the worst part. We haven't had any breakfast as such today. I made some coffee in the morning. There's nothing in the house to cook from. Breakfast was just coffee and there were some biscuits and some chips left over. It's like lunchtime. But we are powering through um, after cleaning. We'll go home, take a shower, go to pack and save, and then get food. End of flashback. So, yeah, as you saw, we went back to our old house and did all the cleaning, and we left it in pristine condition. But believe it or not, it really just depends on your um, agency. We had the agent, I think they went back in the next week or something. So by the time they had gone back in, the grass had obviously grown. She was all like, you guys didn't mow this place and blah, 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 and um, had some stuff that she wanted to say. So we were really disappointed that we really liked that house. So out of respect for that space, we wanted to leave it as clean as possible. It was really heartbreaking that they were just picking on these things, but we, we had our deposit online. So we kind of went back almost immediately as soon as we got the email, my husband and I. We went back and we cleaned the lawn and like mowed everything. I, I I took kitchen scissors to trim the edges because we didn't have the edge trimming thing. And we did our best again and uh, luckily the owner was cooperative and they didn't do any further fuss and we got our deposit back and all of that. So I didn't record any ending to that vlog because it was a bit stressful. Once we got here, we had our own set of challenges with this house. We were not 100% happy when we first moved into this house but so i guess i didn't really think about <laughs> ending the video but anyway it's feb now uh, and so we moved in in november so it's been more than a couple of months now and we've had our love hate journey with this house but it's definitely growing on us compared to the previous house it's very private it has its pros and cons because of that it's really surrounded with trees and things but yeah i think we're getting used to it i'll show you guys how it looks like now uh, i have some of my plants to be honest i haven't been tending to them greatly the lettuce is all used up so they are not there anymore but the mint is doing okay i have our tomatoes doing great and yeah i'll show you around
So yeah, like you can see, we've settled into the house. We've revived the lawn. Props to my husband and my sister for keeping this alive. The agents are really good, easy to communicate. So that's taking a little bit of stress off. But yeah, that was my experience moving houses here in New Zealand. All my life, I've always relied on movers and what I've come to learn is that they're really expensive. And so to move houses between the same city, nobody here or none of my friends here, maybe they're just all really good at saving money, but none of my friends here bother with the packers and movers. We just help each other or just use our cars and run a hundred times. The whole experience is really great. It means that you put effort into every corner of the house. It's really difficult at the time, but once you settled in, it's worth it. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give this a like and comment down below your experience. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon right next to it so you know when I upload my next video. Until I see you guys in my next video, bye!